Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about average rate of change. Okay, so average rate of change is usually applied to application type problems. When we talk about an average rate of change between um, two variables. Okay, so in a lot of these contexts, um, it really comes down to the slope formula. So, but it's going to be a different form. So in this case here, average rate of change, we're talking about a closed interval. So on, an, on a closed interval from A to B, we say that the average rate of change between on this interval is given by this formula. So we take the function evaluated at B minus the function evaluated at A divided by the difference between B and A, or the length of the interval. Okay, so B minus A. But really, this is nothing more than the slope formula. So the average rate of change is given by the slope formula. So this is just change in y over change in x, right? So this is just the change in f of x over the change in x. So it's just the slope formula, but we call it its average rate of change, okay? Now, so where would this come up? So I put an example on here and show you how we would use this. So it says in 2009, Google spent $2,800 million or $2.8 billion on research and development, R&D. And then in 2013, they spent $8 billion or $8,000 million on research and development. So the question is, is what would be the average rate of change in the amount that they spent on R&D? Well, we're going to use this formula. So we have to make sure that, okay, this is 2009. Okay, 2009, they spent that much money, that, that many millions. And then in 2013, they spent that many millions. So there's our two points, right? So the first thing you have to recognize is that we've got two order pairs that relate year with uh, money spent on research and development. So 2009 goes with 2,800, 2013, goes with 8,000. Okay, and again, those are in the millions. Okay, so all we're going to do is now I'm going to, again, what is the x value? So these, this is x, right? These are the f of x. Those are the values, so x and y, right? So now, what's the interval? Well, the interval is the going from 2009 to 2013. And these are the function, the values, the money spent, right, for those two years. So, this is going to be our A and B. So let's define this. So this is going to be our A. And this is going to be F of A. This is going to be B. And this is going to be our f of b. Okay. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these numbers and put them in. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's, let's just leave this here. So f of B minus F of A. And so this is going to equal what? F of B is 8,000. So I'm going to do 8,000 minus 2,800 divided by 2013 minus 2009. And so what do I get? Well, if I subtract this, I'm going to get 5,200, right? 5,200 divided by what? Four. Four years, right? Or, I'm 
sorry, five years. Because we're including, so it's going to be this minus this. No, I was right the first time. So four years. Okay. So now all I have to do is now simplify this. And what does this equal? It's going to be 13. Um, yeah, 13. 13. Hundred. Now this is in the millions. Now this is also has units. This is where you have to be careful. What are the units here? It's dollars per year. That's the average rate of change. It's how is the money that they're spending on R and D changing with the year? Okay. So remember, it's change in Y over change in X. So the average rate of change is $1,300 million or $1.3 billion per year. That's the average rate of change as far as the amount of money. Now, what is the assumption that we're making? Well, we're assuming that this is a linear relationship. Okay? So if it is a linear relationship, then this, or, or close to a linear relationship, then this is accurate. Okay? And this would be your answer. So the average rate of change is approximately $1.3 billion per year for R&D, research and development. And that's it.